Leonardo da Vinci is known not only for his inventions and magnificent paintings, but also for his many contributions to medicine. In particular, he made thousands of drawings and notes related to human anatomy. And this robot named after him was created for the medical industry. This amazing system is called the Da Vinci Surgical System and has long been used in hundreds of clinics around the world. In 2012 alone, 200,000 operations were performed with its help. The surgeon sits at the console and has four hands at their disposal. Two repeats the surgeon's movements, the third one assists, and the fourth one holds the camera. If the surgeon makes a mistake, the robot will block the command and point out the error. So, Da Vinci is also ideal for teaching or training doctors. In 2017, China welcomed more than 60 million tourists. Then the pandemic happened. But even that didn't stop local companies from coming up with interesting devices for tourists. How about an exoskeleton that can compensate 30 kilograms of weight and work for 25 kilometers on a single charge? It allows you to walk for more hours, carry heavy loads, bike and run at speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour. Nine modes of operation combined with an AI give you an incredible amount of room for creating different routes. The exoskeleton weighs about 2 kilograms, the two batteries weigh 400 grams and can be quickly changed. And if hikers aren't interested, the exoskeleton will be useful to rescuers. You can buy one now for about $300, however, you'll have to wait until November to get it. We have something for divers too. This system will be of particular interest to beginners. It's called Sea Air and allows you to dive to a depth of up to 12 meters without an oxygen cylinder. The idea is simple but effective. A compressor and a sealed housing floating on the surface is responsible for supplying air through the hose. One charge is enough for about five hours. If the charge drops below 25%, the diver gets a warning. A powerful flashlight built into the body will start blinking. This light will also come in handy for night diving as well. The system weighs only 13 kilograms and is equipped with a convenient carrying handle. Even 12-year-old children can learn the basics of diving with it. And of course, it's environmentally friendly. No polluting gases or liquids are produced in the process. The project has raised almost half a million dollars on Kickstarter, and backers who pledge $300 just have to wait until September to get it. One of the first experiments with a direct keyboard input to computers took place back in 1956. An electric typewriter was connected to a computer. Since then, keyboards keep changing shape, size, and functionality on a regular basis. Today, we have a surprising product from Japan. It is called Grab Shell. In addition to the usual buttons, it has a trackball and a joystick, and it also transforms. Fold it, and you get something like a huge joystick. You can connect it via Bluetooth or USB Type-C. The new product is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. The battery capacity is 2000 mAh, which is enough for a couple of months. Of course, the keyboard's mechanical and comes with fully original keys. So far, it comes in two colors, black and white. The price is $400 and sales started in February. Time for a little tour of London. We're at Cody Dock. This used to be a huge industrial dock, but in the 80s it was abandoned and forgotten about. It wasn't until 2009 that the transformation of Cody Dock started. The work took more than 10 years, but now there is much to see. 
In March, a unique pedestrian bridge was opened there. The 13-ton structure rotates 180 degrees by means of hand winches, opening up the path along the canal. The design is inspired by the Victorian era, and the main idea is the symmetry and the undulating rails on which the bridge moves. It'll be interesting to see if this design stands the test of time, becomes a maintenance headache, or fails, some people wonder. Your predictions? It's not how much you can tow, it's how much you can control and stop that is important, say the designers of this system. It's placed between your car and trailer, allowing you to improve stability on the road, simplify reversing, and feel safer thanks to the hydraulic disc brakes. In particular, it improved braking by 50% during tests, a review says. Axle options range from 3,400 to 6,100 kilograms of load. Thanks to a more even load distribution, the tire wear is reduced and some fuel is saved. However, you'll have to pay quite a bit, around $10,000. In September 2022, there were almost 1.5 million new residential buildings in the US. Imagine the amount of work that has to be done, because all of these apartments need to be finished. And if people can't keep up, robots can take over. This robot that looks like a vending machine can prime and paint the walls. It can cover up to 929 square meters per day. According to the designers, that's 10 times more than what a person can do. It paints the floor to ceiling height of 3.1 meters, and the accuracy is up to 2 centimeters. The robot knows how to spot windows, doors, and other elements that don't need to be painted. You can set the task via a tablet in 15 or 20 minutes. In order to avoid collisions with people in the process, the robot has a 360-degree view and a best-in-its-class safety system. The manufacturers have big plans. They want to sell the robot in the US, India, and some Gulf and Asian countries. In 1995, the Virtual Boy system, which many today call the ancestor of VR headsets, hit the market. It weighed 750 grams, came with a stand, blocked peripheral vision, and required a flat surface. Who would have thought that less than 30 years later, we'd be enjoying a headset weighing only 127 grams? The world's smallest headset will hit the market in late 2023 with a price of $1,000. And not just the weight is impressive, but the hardware as well. The manufacturers promise 5K resolution, compatibility with Steam VR, a 90-degree vertical field of view, and 93 degrees horizontal field of view. And even buying it is an experience in itself. A 3D facial scan will be required, on the basis of which the manufacturer will make a unique facial profile of each user. One might think that there's no way to improve an ordinary axe, right? Well, there are experts who offer a new way to look at this tool. This axe exists so far only in the digital space, the designer explains that this is a version for firemen. Thanks to the clever attachment method, the axe is easy to repair, while the interchangeable colored inserts will work as a hook, a crowbar, or other tools. Here's another interesting axe. Unlike the previous one, you can buy this one for $240. Don't complain about the price yet, though. The manufacturers have explained why it's so expensive. First, it's a 5-in-1 tool. An axe, a saw, a shovel, a hammer, and a hook. Second, it is as indestructible as possible. The handle's reinforced with carbon fiber. 
Third, it weighs only 2.2 kilograms, is stored in a special case, and doesn't take up much space. The perfect companion for outdoor enthusiasts sums up one review. Walking around in virtual reality has become easier. Before, you had to wear a lot of sensors, but now you just have to wear these sneakers. There are 480 sensors inside each pair. Thanks to them, these sneakers recognize the movements not only of the legs, but also of the upper body. They achieve a 5 cm mean accuracy, and the delay is only 30 milliseconds, which is perfect for entertainment and training. You don't even need base stations, special apps, or anything like that. Just put on the sneakers, connect them to your PC, and enjoy. The shoes work with all Steam VR compatible headsets and come in two versions with some changes in hardware and runtime, six or nine hours. The price for a pair is $170 or $200. Many people must have seen how tasers work in police movies. Darts with thin wires fly at the attacker. It sounds good, but there are a lot of problems, from slow reloading to a modest range, because even police tasers reach only about 10 meters. Luckily, there is an alternative from the US, stun bullets. This ammunition can be used with any 12-gauge shotgun, increasing the range to 35 meters. A bullet weighs 25 grams, as it has not only a lithium battery inside, but also mini stabilizers. On the other hand, the hit will cause pain and immobilize the attacker for about five minutes. A special Mossberg Taser X12 LLS shotgun was launched along this product. The prices are $800 for the gun and $100 for a single round. Rounding out our selection is the Dronut X1. But don't let the name fool you. This is a civilian version of a model supplied to the military and law enforcement, so its capabilities are outstanding. The main task of the drone is autonomous surveillance. It has a 4K camera and a cleverly designed body, allowing it to fly safely into rooms without the risk of injuring people. It weighs 425 grams, and it can stay in the air for 12 minutes at speeds of up to 4 meters per second. According to the manufacturers, even beginners will be able to cope with the controls on their smartphone. Besides, the drone sees obstacles and can fly in the dark. Moreover, it doesn't need GPS. The manufacturers want about $10,000 for one drone nut.